Thanks, Ken. That was that was a good start. Um, just so you know, the uh, the presentation Ken has uh, just given will put on the partner portal, so that you guys all have the access to that. Um, we uh, are evolving the w website, the portal, all that stuff is occurring in a three-phased type of uh, uh, implementation. So we'll, we're, we're working on it. Not going to be very fast at the moment, but we'll, we're getting there, OK? So um, I wanted to start off saying that you know the partners that we have in, a, in the local and the global markets are, are really the, one of the greatest assets that WSO2 has. And so for expanding our markets into these areas, getting new customers on board and stuff. We rely on our partners to, to do that. So, you know, I applaud you guys that have stuck with us so far. We're going to be adding a lot of new partners along the way. But um, there's, there's a lot of uh, uh, what each of you I visited uh, in early January, February, March type time frame. And you guys were instrumental in helping us create this new uh, partner program. So I want to introduce that today. And uh, you know, so we, we have this new powerful program uh, that basically is going to encourage more deployments. It's going to encourage uh, extendable open source subscriptions and new opportunities that uh, you know, are going to provide clear business value for our customers. And so it's the, the pitch that Ken gave is, I think, going to open up some doors for you guys in some looking at things from the top down versus the bottom up, which I think a lot of us tend to like to sell bottom up. But top down is always the best way because it gets more push and it gets more opportunity and more stakeholders in every aspect of the business in, in trying to uncover new opportunities. So the, the key thing here with uh, the partners is, uh, you know, I noticed that we needed to really work on partner enablement, okay? So we've really put a lot of effort around trying to enable you guys to, to have um, uh, better training, better education. That's why we, we led with Ken, Ken today, too, was to, to get the story down, get the, the understanding of what the new pitch is. Um, we're going to follow on with our... Partner Advisory Board, or PAB, and uh, Javier's going to join me up here, and we're going we're gonna to have a little roundtable later on, and we're going to talk about you know, the different delivery. We're going to talk about uh, uh, release management, and then we're going to talk about some certifications that are new. So you know, that stick around for that as well. So, but we want to minimize the cost of the partnership and increase the benefits, and so I think we've done that and achieved that in, in that, and I hope you see that when we, we, we roll the, the plan out today. Um, the partner portal's meant to be a knowledge transfer, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to evolve. It's actually going to uh, have components in it where you can input in your events, your uh, uh, Twitters, your little social media stuff, and we'll get it into our website. It'll be the entry point to the website, and the website will have some activity there that shows what events you've got going on and stuff like that. So when people come to the site, they can see all the different things that are going on globally by all the partners. They can see the traction in social media that gets echoed uh, by our partners as well. Um, we're going to provide quarterly updates and roadmaps. So you're going to get a, a little bit of that in the partner roundtable later, but we, we're going to try to push this out every quarter so that you guys get updates just like our sales teams get updates, the partners get updates, okay? Um, the workshop uh, access uh, to subject matter experts. So we're really pushing workshops this year. Um, we, if you can find uh, localized markets, where you can pull in a group of customers, prospects, whatever, and you can get them in a meeting room and we'll fly a subject matter expert into that environment and help you sell to those guys, okay? So everybody says, well, what do I pay my partner fees for? Well, you're not paying for that. That's a free 
thing that we're giving you. So we're boarding the cost of that person coming out there to, to the event and giving the event. So that's all baked into to, to part of the fees. So a lot of people say, well, why am I paying the fees? The fees are there for a reason because we're trying to give you more benefit now, okay? Um, and then we're gonna showcase partner commitments. So I encourage uh, white papers, I encourage customer stories. We, we do a lot of it. Tyler talked about that uh, the other day about how you know uh, a lot of prospects have come and go, my gosh, you guys got so many um, white papers and stories. Keep them coming, we wanna keep them rolling, especially partner stories because that helps uh, raise the visibility of your partnership. And part of raising the visibility of your partnership we're also extending the ability to, to go to like an MVP program or something like that, certifications. What industries are you certified in? What localized markets are you in? What languages you speak? And so when people come in and they want to navigate the, the matrix of, of the conglomerate of, you know, hopefully we'll have, you know, two to three times the partners that we have today, okay? That just means we're reaching more markets reaching more people. But people need to understand how do they find the right partner. And so we're going to work real hard this next quarter on trying to granulate that so that when someone comes to the site that they can find the right partner in the right market. Okay. Um, and then undertaking co-marketing activities. So um, I have a long list. I, I think a few of you have maybe seen the list of marketing activities that I kind of stuck under your nose a little bit over the last few months, but um, I, I'm, I'm really big on marketing and trying to figure out how we can do things together, how we can jointly do events, how we can do uh, webinars, how we can do workshops, whatever it takes to try to get the two companies looking as one company to the individual customer, okay? So, we created uh, a few tiers here. So um, the, if, if you look at the core tiers, they're the first four. So we, we uh, uh, first I'll say the open community partners that we had that are pure open community, that is now moved under the marketing arm, okay? This is um, commercial partners that we're talking about right here, okay? So the first thing is we have students, we have uh, consultants, we have individuals that wanna play in the, in, the, in the WSO2 space. They have a lot to contribute. They have isolated customers, but they had no way to come on board other than a community partner and they didn't get a lot of support. So we're, we created a consultative partner, okay? So we're encouraging the individuals. I, I spoke to an individual yesterday about this as well and I've spoken to probably a dozen others that you know um, uh, were interested in just their their small one-off consulting companies that want to want to start growing and they want someone to partner with. So I've opened the door there for that. Um, sponsored partners. These are um, uh, where a partner has established uh, maybe an expertise with one area in the, uh, in the uh, technology stack that WSO2 provides. And they, they need to become an expert or, or somewhat of an expert in that area. So that person would uh, be uh, you know, a technology partner or an OEM. So um, I'm not gonna talk a lot about OEMs. That, that question's come up a couple times this morning already. Um, uh, I, I, I'll take that as a one-off, but uh, we'll, we can talk about that. It's a customized uh, approach to embedding WSO technology and coming up with a creative uh, uh, way of uh, selling that together, okay? So uh, certified partners is pretty much what it was in the last uh, partner program. And then uh, Premier Partners is used to be called Premier Certified, now it's just called Premier. Okay, so there's some differentiation between the certified and the premier. The top partners are the premier. Okay, and so um, then we have resellers, and this is new, but you have to be a certified or a premier partner to become a reseller. Okay, and so that there's a uh, that we do uh, look at 
one-offs where someone just wants to be a reseller and that's all they want to be. They don't want to be a regular partner. They want to be a reseller. Uh, that would be probably more in the uh, government arena where we have specific government uh, resellers bidding on things and stuff like that. So um, there's about 20 some, 20, 25 that I'm looking at there that are just sole resellers, but they're mainly in the government sector. Um, strategic partners, that's gonna be reserved for global, real global partners. Uh, before on the website, I, I kinda laughed. Um, they, they had a, uh, you filled out the form, you could check strategic partner and you could check T's and C's and guess what? You would be a strategic partner and they have one person in their company. <laughs> so that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for, you know, the, the Accentures, the uh, Capgeminis, the uh, EYs, the, the Deloitte's, all those, the big organizations that have a big footprint and we're also looking for service delivery partners, especially because we need help with service delivery globally. Um, uh, you know, we have had numerous discussions in the last few days, you know, about do you have 100, uh, 100 uh, heads that you could put on a project? Well, yeah, we probably, probably could muster that up, but it's usually a combination of one or two partners today. So we're, lo we're looking and searching for service delivery partners that can expand that and, and we can, can grow that. And the global partners, like I just mentioned, those have footprints of thousands of people. All right, this is a busy slide, and so I have a pointer here. So, <laughs> so we're gonna go through a little bit of things here, but this is, the for this is all on the website, so when you pull up the website, this pops right up. Um, but we've defined each, each of the, the screen does not. Let's see here. Oh, pointer, pointer's dead, doesn't work. So I'll just talk to it. Um, so we have a practice engineers, notice the consultative uh, deal is uh, there's very little uh, activity there, sponsored one, certified, pretty much what it was before in the number of folks that we want to have in the, in the pod or whatever. Then we have um, our t level one in uh, our um, certification program. So there's a lot of confusion around the skill set that, that sits there. And so I, 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 I defined it so that you understand that level one is, is for technical sales. It's not for delivery. So delivery is more of a, uh, a level two type person, okay? And um, you know, we'll talk a little bit more about that later in the, in the uh, round table. And we, uh, you know, we have uh, 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 some, some people part of the, that are part of the team that can talk about that. Um, case studies, uh, ability to be a reseller. Again, I, I mentioned you know, certified and premier. MVP is a new classification which basically, um, it's subjective. It's a submitted request on behalf of that. Again, certifications, MVP, are just classifications of an individual. They work at a company. So if a company, we'll be reassessing this on a quarterly basis to understand what company has, because people move around. So it's not the company that has the certification, it's the individual the company may employ those people and those are the people they have on staff. So they, they, they you know, a partner that has a good group of uh, uh, certified people on staff uh, would, I think would be more attractive to a, a customer in deployments and, and such. Um, and then we're, we're gonna have the sales certification that we're coming out with, that's gonna come out in Q3. So you have just, sometimes you just have just salespeople that are just general salespeople that want to sell the products, but they're not the technical people. We're going to have a program around that to kind of help those guys understand how to sell, kind of along the lines where Ken was talking with, you know, positioning and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then there's the workshop area here, the two workshop areas. And understand when, you know, you, a partner sponsors it, um, we had a, a, a big event in France, uh, Smile uh, did a big event there. They drew 30, 40 people to that event uh, for 
uh, that, they, that they sponsored. And we flew a subject matter expert in to do that. That's, that's where your partner fees go, okay, is that free trip. So take, take advantage of this uh, re requirement that's here and get us to come help you. Um, maintain a center of excellence on the demo. Um, that's more of a premier, like the uh, shock rays, the Yenlos, uh, you know, the Mitras, they, they all have, those are our big partners we have today. Those are the partners that have a center of excellence. You can go there, you can see everything that WSO2 has. They have people that have experience there. I've been to all the facilities. They have great facilities, great training facilities. They have a, a great way to, to showcase the WSO2 environment. And also they're very dedicated to WSO2 so that maybe the only thing that they do is WSO2. And so we, we wanna gravitate partners like that. We want them to be able to, to showcase the WSO2 solutions and then to be able to uh, train them as well. So they can create their own training facilities as well. Um, Multi-year subscriptions. Uh, again, we wanted to create this, like Devika was saying, this one off product that we have that we sell for one year. We want to create that into a multi-year kind of offering out the gate to give us some runway and give us some traction to do expansions into the other areas and get the customer to adopt other products. We should be seeding those with products. We should be giving them stuff, try it, you like it, put them in a, a POC, put it in there some way to get them to start taking a look at other things that they could be using and other stakeholders that may take advantage of that product in the, in the uh, company. Um, and then we have our WSO2Con that you're at today and their sponsors and we have uh, requirements around, you know, if you're a certified or premier, we want you to, to step up and be a sponsor. And we appreciate the sponsors that we have today, as Yenlo, Jock Ray, we're, we're both sponsors today, okay? Um, and then we have uh, projects. So uh, this is where we wanna be successful in our projects. So uh, part of my analysis and going through and, and listening and seeing everything that's gone on um, whenever there was a quick start done where WSO2 was help, helping out in the, in the beginning of a project, uh, there's a close to a 99% success rate of, of multi-year subscriptions and multi-year uh, 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 ret retention, okay? To, to go to Javier's question. Um, we did see that where some of the partners and it's not all partners, but there we did see that there were some of the partners that, that dropped down to about 66% when WSU2 wasn't involved. So I, I decided that, you know, in the spirit of uh, a partnership, that I'm gonna make it a requirement that uh, the two companies work together in the initiation of projects so that they work together. So I'm just trying to create the success rate of, of the project. Uh, again, we're just a small piece of that. Um, it's not that we're taking uh, over that. And we'll take over in the consultative and the sponsored arena where the, the partner doesn't have expertise. But the expertise over here, it says up to 10%. That doesn't mean 10%. That doesn't mean 0%. That just means some involvement, okay? So we'll work through each of them on a case-by-case -case basis and, and we'll work together in that with the, the premier and the certified. Um, and then we have an annual ARR achievement and that's new business every year. And uh, there's no target on a consultant. A sponsored assumes they only have maybe one or two deals that they get a year and then it graduates up there. The premier usually has around 250,000 a year. Um, the benefits you get out of this, uh, everybody wants to know how, how do I get paid? So, <laughs> so here it is, how you get paid. So um, the certified and premier um, are, are our top tiers and, and so they're gonna get, they're gonna get paid more because they're more invested in the, in, in the business. Um, we aren't giving any uh, 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 percentage on renewals and I'm gonna come back to that because that ties in with the reseller program, okay? Um, that's all about risk. Who has the risk? 
And so WS2's had the risk so far. Um, commission on the discounts on services are there, uh, ranging you know, upwards of t two to 10 percent. Um, there's also a uh, teaming fee that we provide, which is zero to three percent, and we can give that zero to three percent subjectively on deals like, for example, um, you know, we may have a partner that converts uh, uh, English to, to Spanish or in English to uh, French or something in, in a contract or helps carry some discussions in a, in a localized language where, you know, WSO2's primary is, is an English-speaking company and we, we, we don't have the people to talk there. So we'll pay extra points for assistance there uh, in helping secure those deals. Um, logos are all put up and website listings are all put up uh, on the partners. Um, if you look at the, the, the um, uh, uh, logos, the logos are, I'm only putting up the premier and certified, not, not uh, community, not uh, consultative, and not sponsored. But if you fall into those three categories, which are the, on the lower end of the scale, and you do a white paper, or you do a case study, or you do something significant that um, we can showcase you, we'll put your logo up uh, under special considerations for that, and it'll stay up for a period of the, at least a year on there. We had a lot of community partners that were listed before that um, did one deal five years ago. They haven't done any deals since, but their logo still sits on our website. So we, we clean, it, clean that up a bit. Um, let's see. Uh, with regard to uh, um, uh, partner portal access, everybody gets uh, partner portal access. Uh, Co-marketing activities uh, will work and be undertaken jointly. Um, uh, customer engagements, uh, a remote access to a, a WSO2AM and TO uh, is given in situations where you register a deal. So you register a deal, we'll help you. You don't register a deal, you don't have an AM or TO to help you, okay? So I encourage you to register your deals and get those on place and we'll, we'll have a team to help you. Um, uh, Ten major partner events. Uh, uh, we'll attend your event if you're a premier partner and have an event. We'll 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 come to that and we'll participate. Uh, that's only for premier, okay? Um, and then for query hours, we're giving uh, ten hours a year for uh, certified and twenty five for premier. So you get that just by signing up on the program. You get that for free, okay? And and so what that means is. Uh, uh, after the 25 hours runs out and you're doing pre-sales on XYZ company and ABC company and uh, that time runs out, we have banks of hours you can, you can purchase after that if you need it, okay? Um, any new partners that come on board that achieve their, uh, their um, uh, uh, number in the first six months in the premier section will give back 50% of the fee that they, they paid. Uh, level one certification is also given free to Premier. Um, just, just so you know, the training's all free. It's on the website. Uh, there's a little bit of money you pay for a test. This is just to encourage more uh, 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 people on the team to uh, take the test and get at least level one certified. And then I wanna encourage the level twos to take the test and then try to submit for MVP type stuff. But they'll need to take our consultative uh, uh, certification, which is brand new that we'll talk about in the, in the PAB today. And then these are the fees that we have for the first year and, and then the subsequent years. All right, so the reseller program, this is, uh, this is brand new and this will enable uh, uh, partners that are certified in Premier um, who, uh, there's a kind of a, a different uh, approach here. There's, there's, there's a, um, you're gonna need to get uh, checked out uh, financially to make sure you do this. And we're also um, making sure that uh, each partner will pass our EULA along. Uh, 
they're going to take the risk now. So there's risk and reward. So if you take the risk, you get more points. So we're giving more points for this. And this is coupled on top of the other program that I just mentioned. So whatever I, was in the other program, you just take the other program and add this to it. And that's now you're a, a certified partner reseller or, or, a, or a premier partner reseller, OK? Um, and as I said, there's a reseller only is exception only. So, so I've put up what the certified and reseller programs are and then adding the, the reseller to it. Basically, if you look to the right, it just says, see the partner tier, okay? So the requirements are just whatever the partner tier is. The only requirement is if you were a, a reseller and not a partner, 100% of the, ser the service delivery stuff would be WSO2. So somebody that was just a reseller, they weren't a regular partner, that would be the only requirement. All right. And then the due diligence thing I, I mentioned at the, the top. So benefits, this is where we view the additive. So if you were a premier, you got 15 points, you would get another 20, so you would get 35 points as a reseller slash premier, okay? And there's a caveat to this 20 points. They're gonna, we're gonna pay 10% the first year, five the second, and five the year after that. And it's a kind of to encourage that we create retention in the account, we create multi-year contracts in the account so that we're creating stickiness in the account so that we don't have churn or disruption in the flow of business. So we wanna have this customer for a minimum of three years as, rather than thinking them as a minimum of one year, okay? Um, and then commission on renewals is 10% for, uh, for uh, certified and 12% for premier. Uh, so I think there's a typo there. So it should say 10% certified and 12% for premier, okay? So, uh, on the commissions on the services, you take the eight and the 10 and add the two, so the premier would get 12 points on services. So when I say we want to partner and bring in WSO2 to be joint on, on, the, on the quick start program, for example, you would get 12 points on that because you sold the service, so you're getting some money back for, for that as well. Um, with regard to team, teaming and, 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 and that, there's no teaming fee added at, on a reseller. That's just saves with the normal program, um, whatever they were getting in the, the tier they were in. Uh, we're going to be doing the website and the logo listing and, and uh, uh, you know, distribution. Those three are kind of all synonymous together. Uh, we'll be creating that visibility on the website. Um, a re reseller is expected to drive their own customers. So, you know, especially if it's a standalone reseller, they are in a government putting an RFP together or something like that. They're bidding on that customer. We, we, we have no idea who that is. But they can register them, okay? Um, Co-marketing, again, is, is pretty much everything here is yes, C partner tier, and, uh, Again, there's no rebates on any resellers there or level one thing. There's a fee to, to, to be a reseller. Okay. So in creating uh, adoption of the skills and increasing the skill footprint and enablement of the partner, I, I wanted to put this up so that you understood, you know, as you go through level one, and then there's a level two, and then there's, uh, we, the goal is to become a certified MVP. So if we can, when we stuck right in between level two and the MVP, a solution architect certification that we'll talk about in the PAB later on, okay? But that basically gets uh, somebody really prepped to, to become a certified MVP. And that, that's a, they hold that uh, for a period of one year. And um, I have this slide on that right here. And so 
basically they hold this for, for one year and it's a request to be it. We will interview them. We want to see all the different things that they're contributing. So they contribute in social media, they contribute in uh, white papers, training. Uh, we'll fly in and do the uh, subject, as a subject matter expert to your workshop. We expect the person that you're, you have as a WSO2 certified or that somebody that's bidding for that to be in there because we want to encourage them to do the next workshops, okay? We want to in, uh, enable them so that they're able to do that themselves. Uh, our deal is to enable you, you're not, we, we want to move away from uh, uh, us always having to uh, uh, have a small stake in, 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 in these, these projects, okay? We want you guys to own them, but right now I think we're in a, in a transitionary phase where we have to work together, and then we'll start relaxing that as we get people ramped up on this, okay? So the par Partner Advisory Board, uh, this is gonna be our first Partner Advisory Board. It's meant to open up communications about what you guys wanna hear about, what maybe we need to pay more attention to, uh, uh, feedback on uh, whether things are working or they're not working. Uh, I've invited Javier to be uh, the first uh, chairperson for that meeting and uh, you know, uh, we're, we have kind of a set agenda for, for this first one, but uh, you know, we'll, everybody that's been a chair, I'm gonna pull them, because I have this globally, I'm gonna pull the chairs together, we're gonna have a meeting, and then every year we're gonna figure out what the agendas are that we need to talk about, if the agenda was working or not working, do you wanna, want WSO2 to step out and just have the, the partners be the ones that, that lead it and discuss it? So this is new, it's something we're forming. It's something I think is a good thing because I think it gets a voice to the partners and you guys can be um, uh, supportive, critical, whatever, uh, the, that, but we need to, to make sure that we hear your voice and, and, and make sure we make adjustments to our programs and our uh, things we roll out so that, that uh, we're, we're listening to you guys collectively as partners, okay? That's all I have for right now. Questions? Oh, thank you, Eric. There was one slide uh, you had with uh, some of the details of the program. Move the, move the mic a little bit closer there. Hello? There we go. Okay. Yeah, you had one slide up there that listed some of the, um, uh, the percentages, and you clarified one number, but I did not get that. It had to do with uh, a typo that is in the... Under uh, no, the reseller program, or...? Yeah, in the reseller program. Right here? Uh, no, next one. One more. Right there. Yes. Okay. So you were clarifying the, uh, I think the commission or discount on the second line, that there was a typo there? There were regarding renewals? Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. So, so the certified partner would get 10% on renewals and, and the premier would get 12. Okay, that's clear then, yeah. Okay, Thank there's a, a typo the way that's, there, I need to fix, I see. Got it. <laughs> <coughs> Any other questions? So all of this is uh, up on the website now. Um, I've already got hits in the last couple days. Um, uh, new partners that I've talked to here, as well as existing partners uh, are, are moving forward. Um, there's a click, you can, you can Select, uh, I agree to the T's and C's. I assume that will be mostly the, 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 the consultative and the sponsored, but the certified and the premier, if you don't check it, that just means that we'll go through the ag agreement and redline it and agree on what we're gonna agree on, okay? So that's open for, for uh, uh, change, okay? Uh, we will um, also have a reseller agreement, which is separate than that. And if we have OEM opportunity, uh, you know, we, uh, we, we have agreement for that as well, okay? 
So if you if you want uh, if you want me to talk, uh, we have I think we have a little bit of time, right? Are we okay on time or? After the tea break, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I'm sorry, I might have said after lunch. It's after the tea break is uh, the pab. So, and then we can all go to the ballerina stuff, okay? If you're interested. So um, if you want me to chat about anything else in particular, um, you want to hear a little bit about OEMs or something like that, which I know I didn't talk about, but I know a few of you have asked about. Do you want me to touch on that a little bit or? Yes? Okay. So OEMs um, are uh, uh, a uh, embedded technology. Um, I'm working with and I've encouraged a few of the partners that we, we have in the room today. Um, Yenlo actually has a, an OEM that they're working on. I won't say who for right now, but um, uh, we'll keep that between us. Uh, but um, they have an opportunity that they brought in. And so the way that works is um, the OEMs fall under WSO2. But if you as a partner bring it to us, it's a good thing because when, first off, um, if we sign a three to five year agreement with those customers, and like I just signed uh, a Lucent as an OEM partner, I'll, I'll mention them. Uh, they have 2,500 institutions. So when we sign an OEM agreement, we're not talking about one customer, we're talking about thousands of customers, okay? which is good for us and good for them. If, for instance, you had brought a Lucian to me and said, hey, you know, this is that, you would have got 15% um, of that deal on every 2,500 customers, okay? Because you brought them to me, okay? So you're gonna get paid on every sale that that OEM creates. So I want you to find vendors that want WSO2 embedded yeah, I want you to seek them out globally, and if you find them, you'll get paid for it, and, and it's it, it mutually beneficial. The nice thing about it is you've initiated the relationship, you created the opportunity. We, we're now, you know, 2,500 doesn't roll out day one, it rolls out over time. So you would get paid over time every time we sold one of those uh, products or whatever into that customer, okay? It's very defined. Uh, agreement so it may be just for one product okay but you will get paid on that one product continually as long as that OEM agreements in place because you brought that to us okay clarity clear okay all right any other questions all right I can take um, separate meetings uh, one-off meetings uh, all day today while you're here um, just grab me and uh, we'll go in the partner room and, and we'll chat and we'll, we can talk about your specific requirements or needs or uh, interests or you know things that you wanna, whatever you wanna talk about, okay? And then I'll see you at the end of the, the break and we'll have the partner advisory board. Thank you. <laughs>